Hey guys. How's it going? I look like a battered and beaten up person today. Like my whole, I look tired today. I, I am tired. I've been tired. Anyway. A little, a little, little, little ridiculous night last night. So, my dog, uh, I swear to you guys, Remington is the utmost. I've never met a dog like him. I've had him for eight years. I've had him since he was a puppy. Sometimes I wonder if it's because he picked up a lot of stuff from my pom I had a Pomeranian at first when, when I still had my Pomeranian. That's when I got my Golden Retriever, Remington. And my, 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 uh, my Pomeranian was older. He was about 13, 14, I think, when I got Remington. Anyway, I, I think Remington has picked up a lot in the short few years that he's been around my Pomeranian because but 13, so a few years, you know, half his life maybe, that he was with another dog because two years ago I had to put my Pomeranian down. He was just getting too old. He was about 18, 19. For a Pomeranian, that's a long time. Um, so I think. Remington must have picked something up, picked things up from my Pomeranian that, you know, today when I meet new people, they just don't understand anything how Remington is, why he is the way that he is. Uh, first of all, this dog has just been so protective of anything. Like, he is a very, he is a big protector. He's always been a big protector of me, not only me, but he, he always protected my Pomeranian. He protected my cat. He protected his home. Like, I, I I'm, I'm telling you right now, if it wasn't for Remington throughout the eight years that I've had him, I'm not saying I own him. I don't own him. To me, Remington is my, my kid. So, for somebody to say that I own a dog, it's like, you own four-year-old kid, okay? That's that's what it is to me, okay? Don't ever say, I own a dog. Don't ever say, I own a cat. I don't own them. And they don't own me. We're a pack. That's what they are. Anyway, last night, he was acting really like he, he was like, I don't think it's scared that he was. I think it was, <sighs> there was a battery, a car battery in the bed of my truck and it slid. I think it slid. Something slid and hit the end of my truck. I felt it in the bed. And I hope it doesn't hurt the car battery either. Anyway, last night he's just, he's whimpering and he's crying and he's trying to jump on the bed. I'm like, what is wrong? Like, what's going on? So I get up, my other half gets up out of bed and I, I let Remy out and holy crap I let him out of the bedroom and we shut the door and he's scratching at the door I'm like oh my god what is going on so I lay back down and I hear something chirping come to find out it was one of the smoke detectors they were chirping the battery went okay so that was something so Excuse me. I'm glad that we caught that last night. And if it wasn't for him, we would have never heard it. Like we would have just been yelling at him and ignoring him. 
So here's here's something funny that's off topic about dipping, okay? And I'm sorry, I apologize. I do have a dip in, so if you have a dip in, throw a dip in with me. Um, the day was really hectic. So here here's what a tip that for me being a pet parent, if you if you have a pet too, especially dogs, even cats. Uh, I, I swear to God, they can pick up shit. Every dog, every cat is just like a person. Every, every creature out there, they have feelings. They have, they're just like humans, okay? They just have their own way of communicating. It's kind of like people who speak a different language. We're all the same. We just are a different creature, we are a different background, we are different anything. We, we have our own communication, but we have a way to tell you, we just have to learn to read and understand and hear the different sounds that come out. So if it wasn't for Remington acting the way he was last night, we would have never found out. And then I told my other half last night, I said to him, or this morning, this dog will probably pick up if there's any danger that goes on in this house. And he agreed. And he does. So, dogs know way more than what people do. Today, my day was a little hectic. I went out, uh, I left, I didn't leave work. I'm still working, okay, so. Um, I had to go out to a job site to deliver uh, some equipment. And what do you do? What do you do, guys, when you go into your vehicle? What's the first thing you do? Pop in a dip? Because that's what I did today. I popped in my dip when I got in my work truck. So, yeah, I needed my dip today. I think I, I, I was dipping a lot. I think today I went four times that I'm stuck in a, a pinch. Normally I just have two. One in the morning on my way to work, mm -hmm. one on my way home. Nope, today was four. And I think I left the can on my desk at work. <laughs> Oh well. No big deal. I had other cans in here. It's cool. So I have a can on my desk. Um. So yeah guys, I hit four pinches today. One to work. One when I left work to go out to the job site and one on my way back from the job site. And then I just stuck another window before I left work. So, that's my day. How's your day going? Let me know down in the comments. Tell me how your day is going. You know, how, how is your week? Um, I am tired. I am ready to fall asleep. Probably not a good thing. So, um, I'm probably gonna do a dip tip. Probably this weekend. I'm gonna do a dip tip video.